What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Rusty and we are back rebuilding the 2016 Freightliner Cascadia and this is my dad's project. He's already taken off the hood which is right there. This is my little bro and he's a oh that was sketchy. He's already <laughs> he's doing all this by himself. He's not even tripping. Man, it took him like two days just to unbolt this thing, take the hood off. Sure, it's just me, Shia. Uh -huh. Hello, so sketchy. Dude, I don't even know. Uh, yeah, možná, popravíte. Can I move it? No. Dude, I don't know. Let me shy. Little by little. No. I guess he's placing the cab right here. If you guys haven't seen my first episode on this Cascadia, I explained to you guys where it was wrecked, everything like that. My dad's already fixed the front suspension. He's already thrown some wheels on there. This thing is actually was run and drive until he started taking off the cab. The cab's gone and the hood is actually right there. That is the OEM hood. The hood did have minor scuffs, cracks in the fiberglass. He's already fiberglassed everything, bondoed it and primered it. This is the second primer layer and it's pretty much done. There is minor stuff that he needs to do. Oh, he already bought the bracket. Yeah, I didn't even man he's fast i'm telling you my dad's fast he's only had this truck for about a couple weeks now and <laughs> he's already sticking off the cab i mean this is he's not a beginner like i am i'll tell you guys that because i'm still working on my truck right here the cab's already off and he's <laughs> he's already repaired his hood took the cab off uh, the same time it took me to to take my hood off so next step i think he's going to be looking for a semi truck as parts and then swapping out the cabs and this thing is probably going to be ready to go also if you guys remember this banana truck this banana truck pretty much same situation the cab is almost off it's just ready to get forked off we just don't have room anywhere to put the cab uh we're actually my cousin is actually not sure what he's doing with this thing yet maybe for parts or we're not really sure yet but yeah it's gonna be done this what this white uh cascade is gonna be done way faster i'll tell you what i might as well do a little shop tour for you guys i don't know if you remember from my beginning videos of me starting semi truck rebuild and deleting my other shop that i had i was fixing cars and stuff like that this is the new setup we paid uh, a company to come out here and pave this for us we bought a container for one thousand uh, dollars we actually had these beams right here from some shelvings we had at the old shop and we took him and we built this we obviously bought the roof part and we have a tarped area right here so when it rains it doesn't leak down too much right here this is separates there's actually a wall right here this separates pretty much the work area right here this is storage and then in here we have it's gonna be kind of dark mainly mainly the office area and we also have a water container up here and we have a pump a line going all the way there we actually have some buddies of ours over there they own a well business they actually have a pump down there and every time we run out of water they just turn on the pump for us and we have nice running water look at that but it's definitely florida water straight from the ground so i, I definitely would not drink it uh it's up to you 
but we also have a shower area we're gonna build up a little shower area right here i mean it's, it's not i wouldn't say this is ghetto this is just old school we are from ukraine we have stuff like this at our home base in ukraine it's all simple stuff gravity you know so we don't even have electricity here that's why we have this cord running all the way to the main building over there and it's really far but we have this extension for now we will have power here soon it's a little dirty in here sorry for the mess we just have just so much crap just crammed in here this is my toolbox my working area right here uh, and then the rest is actually my dad's so yeah we got some soap right here i mean that's it <laughs> that's the shop tour it's nothing really to it if you guys want to know how much all this costs i really cannot tell you exactly how much we're renting these spots for so we're renting one two three four spots this is a semi truck parking area these guys are really really nice people that let us do this on their on their land pretty much but i will tell you how much this cost us this cost us about thousand two hundred dollars pretty good free delivery i mean for for the price for this container and we paid a thousand five hundred for this uh pavement right here so totally about three grand and this roof actually 500 so three and a half grand cost us for this setup it's not bad for temporary setup it's just we had to move out of the shop and and get something new because rent went up and two months rent equals all of this right here so yeah totally worth it this is my little brother's birthday gift 500 bucks we bought it for a nice 100 cc honda and he's learning how to drive clutch well four speed no one down click one down did you click one down yeah. and th oh, that's first gear yeah go there you go oh. yeah gas go go it has been i know a little stuff has changed around here like my dad had these hoses and stuff like that but it's been three weeks i've been on a road i just came back and this place is packed i don't even know what's going on here there's a reefer trailer right here i have some old volvo right there it looks like a 2002 or 2001 volvo there's another drive-in trailer right there uh, i'm not sure what's going on my dad's gone for camp or something like that uh, my Volvo is still here. Good, good. Uh, but, surprise, my dad has bought another Cascadia. So we bought this thing uh, off IAI, IAI, IAAI, or however you pronounce it. And this thing was not wrecked. It is kind of ratchet because it is a 2012. Uh, so it's like a little older body style, but the cab is exactly the same and it is not wrecked it has not been in a big accident why is the radio on the lights work that's cool this is my first time actually coming in here Ugh. it is manual it's not bad condition but it is half a million miles and you guys guessed it this thing is a mechanical damage it was sold as mechanical damage on copart the interior isn't bad it's usable it's still pretty fresh i mean the cab is 100 percent usable but my dad thinks he can start this thing up as you guys can see there is diesel leaking into the oil so that's the whole issue he checked the oil it smelled like diesel it was overfilled the oil level on the dipstick was overfilled and he needs to figure out why it's sucking up diesel into the oil and it's making a loud noise when you start the engine which i will not start it the valve cover gasket's already taken off and he's gonna figure it out but he says if it is a big issue he's not gonna he's not gonna fix it he's just gonna take the cab and replace it onto his it's bolt on bolt off type of deal so that's really really good news or he said he's gonna give it to my cousin to fix up that banana truck so it's up to them whatever they do with this thing but they paid i think my dad said six grand for this truck he said it's pretty worth it i mean it's just back and forth because the new complete cab uh you can buy one for about two grand two and a half grand three grand 
he said he paid a little more because there's just a bunch of extra parts he might need like the tanks some of the tires the rear ends i mean there's a whole lot of parts here that he can use oh i don't even see this what the heck oh my goodness they have taken a lot of stuff apart this is the whoa this is the bottom of the pan this is the i think these are the rings the piston rings uh bearings let me see under here oh snap what the heck oh my goodness bruh so yeah they <laughs> oh man i don't know it looks like i'm looking at this piston right there and it looks like it's broken it was sitting pretty crooked there or maybe they didn't have a chance to take it off i don't know hopefully it's not a big deal hopefully they can fix it because this thing just has a half a million miles this thing has another half to go but if it is toast then i think they're just gonna reuse the cab since this thing is a 2012 man it's a little ratchet it's kind of rusty there there's some damage on the fairing right here it's not bad but it's old i mean 2012 it doesn't seem like it's old uh this is this rear end hit no it's this rear end's not hit just like the rear tires are exploded for some reason i don't know why and the frame is rusty man this thing is ew compared to mine mine is like all brand new all these little bolts and stuff is all nice and brand new i, I love working on new trucks compared to just stuff uh, you know auctions it is risky so you do have to take a risk and he did and it said mechanical and it was true mechanical damage so it's up to them whatever they want to do so update real quick on my volvo i have the intercooler right there and then i have other little goodies right here and i have something hidden over there for you guys which i will reveal on the next video because i want to do a whole nother video on the volvo uh me assembling other things on it and it's gonna be almost complete like i mean like the cooling system the front end the tubings all of that stuff it's gonna be pretty much done and there's really nothing left to do except guess what yes the cab we're gonna have to have to buy a cab soon i mean i'm tired of waiting i've been looking online for cabs cabs full complete cabs with uh everything and i just cannot find one the only ones i found was on copart which i'm gonna be bidding on very 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 soon and when i buy one it's gonna be a crazy video about me going getting another semi truck a whole nother parts truck and taking off that cab installing it on here and boom 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 this thing is gonna get finished so fast uh, i know it's kind of slow right now but right when i get the new truck the stuff is just gonna be flying and this thing's gonna be fixed up really really soon and there's the banana truck and guess what there's another little part project car my little brother bought it's a g37 this thing is actually lowered on coilovers it got some ghetto chrome wheels or something like that somebody mexicanized it a little bit but it's not bad it has black interior it does have frame damage so frame rails are twisted it's up to him if he's going to want to replace the frame rails right there or he's going to want to bend them back and just do it as is as best as he can but i recommend he change the frame rails it's up to him though but i mean it's not bad he got it for pretty cheap i think it was like 2800 with uh 80k miles on this thing it is salvage title though but i mean it's his it's going to be his little car he's only 16 years old that he actually saved up for this we're helping him buy it and then he takes everything apart we're not helping him at all that's how we teach the little brothers to fix their own stuff because right when you get buy them a car they're not going to respect the car what you have to do is they save enough money they buy the car they wreck it they have to fix it they save enough money to fix it he actually had a black lexus he sold it and now he has <laughs> the, this infinity and he's fixing it up slowly by himself he has to buy the parts he has to get him painted and we'll you know we'll, we'll we'll show him everything we can but you know it's up to him to get this thing fixed by himself and they're still my prius it's still great daily driver i already put about a thousand miles on this thing man this thing i love it i i fit actually a lot of big stuff back there but yeah guys this is going to be the end of this update video on the rebuild of the cascadia the 2016 cascadia and that new truck that we just got i don't know what's going on with this reefer and this drive-in here i mean 
I just came back from trucking and this whole shop is freaking booked up. It's crazy here. Now we have no space <laughs> to work at all. Uh, but yeah, guys, stay tuned for more videos. I have some crazy stuff coming for you guys. Very, very interesting stuff. So I appreciate it. Deuces. Y'all see me fly and never drop down. Drop down, smoking high am I am not round. I'm not round, no denying what I got now. I got now, keep an eye out, keep it locked down. Lock down, see me fly and never drop down. Drop down, smoking high am I am not round. I'm not round.